What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about those Halloween ends clips that are online and people think it leaked or something. As far as I can tell, again, when it comes to studios, there's different branches from what I've gathered. You have branches all across the all across the globe. <laughs> you have some of course you have the american distributor you have the ones that from where this is coming from in france you have them in other places too this is an as far as i can tell an official release it's just not from the states it's from it's from universal pictures france now this is an extended look at the kitchen brawl footage that was shown in the trailer and hyped up since comic-con or CinemaCon. i meant to say again since it's not being taken down this sh must be an okay thing for them to have out there because it's coming from the france market of universal now when movies start dropping clips like this it does tend to leave some people convinced that they have no confidence in the product and want to reel you in with something exciting that might be like one thing that you're excited about or pleased by in a pile of trash that is awaiting you for the rest of the movie that aside though i want to discuss the two clips that i watched and i know many of you probably did too the kitchen brawl clip is basically us this extended kitchen brawl clip is basically us seeing Lori hyde michael stalk some of his stanky heavy breathing can be heard <laughs> and a moment of silence he hears a noise and then Lori jumps out of him and the fight ensues the last thing we see is like him grabbing her up by her hair and the clips just shuts off now obviously it's going to be a lot more intense in the entirety of it with the full complete context there's other snippets out there from tv spots to show Lori clearly mounting somebody that must be michael myers plunging a knife down into him some people even think that one tv spot shows michael's eye before Lori's about to stab him presumably to death in the face so we'll see how that kitchen brawl plays out but that was a nice little thing to see uh this is definitely a sequence that will probably come off more suspenseful again on screen. The absence of sound that you have, besides Michael walking around, hearing his breathing, the microwave, Lori hiding and having her own breathing going on, and the little kitchen equipment that you can hear clicking throughout. All of that just puts you on the edge in anticipation of this brawl that you're hoping Lori will survive. If you're someone that wants her to live anyway, some of you might want Michael to live and that's fine too. The second clip I wanted to talk about is related to Lori trying to convince Allison to break up with Corey. Uh, and now Alice is not having it because she believes Lori just wants people to be as miserable as she is. Now... I've seen people's re re reaction and thoughts on that, thinking that, oh, she has terrible taste in men or that her reaction isn't very realistic. I wouldn't say it's unrealistic as much as it might not be the reaction you want her to have if you were the person writing it. Because what she could be doing is being, she could be living in a state of denial. She herself probably knows that Corey is dangerous. She herself probably knows that she should not be with this dude. My question though is, how did they end up getting together if Lori has something to do with them getting together then what is it that Lori found out that she ends up regretting and then backtracks trying to tell Allison hey you shouldn't be with this guy it of course most likely is then this clip just doing nothing but confirming what people are already thinking is going to happen based on all the things that you can piece together from the trailer from the tv spots from other things related to Corey cunningham and the plot description that's out there Corey is going to don the michael myers mask the michael myers get up i don't necessarily know if he's going to be able to steal this man's overall stealing his over stealing his mask is one thing but i don't think Corey would make it out of there alive trying to touch the man and take his clothes off of him like that um uh, I don't think he's going to be able to get away with that. I mean, the paramedic in Halloween Resurrection, even though he didn't try to do that, I don't think he was going to get away with that either. And I don't think Corey Cunningham would get away with this. So his overalls are probably going to come from somewhere else because I am noticing a vibe of overalls being clean in some images of Michael and then other images of Michael, the overalls seem to be a little bit more worn down and dirty and dingy. So when it comes to that clip of them battling, I'm trying to piece together what it is that Corey does that leads to Lori telling Allison, stay away from that dude. Undoubtedly, it's probably, again, related to Corey Cunningham acting weird. And like, again, that bit of dialogue we hear in the TV spot. Oh, what are you going to do when Michael comes comes back for you because he's coming? Or maybe this is something that happens after the fact, because 
if it happens prior, maybe that is what causes her to have that conversation with Allison. Hey, you know, your boyfriend, he's talking crazy. He told me he, he seemed to talk to me as if he's he's planning something against me with Michael Myers as an accomplice. And I don't think you should be dating this dude because he's acting weird. The town thinks he's weird. And now he's bringing that weird energy over here to me after I was initially defending him. If that's a narrative route they take with Lori, if she's someone who decides to defend Corey, but then Corey just proves that he doesn't need any defending whatsoever but she should probably get Allison as far away from him as possible I enjoyed those two clips I think there was a third one out there that I haven't looked at probably something to do I think that one had to do with Corey and Lori Corey and Lori <laughs> Corey and Lori talking to each other so I didn't get to see that but if that was the third clip let me know what happened in that clip down in the comment section below what did you think about those two clips that were released I personally, of course, enjoyed the kitchen brawl more than the conversation between Allison and Lori. What I will say, though, is that so far from what I've seen, again, performances and visual aesthetics will definitely be a strength coming out of Halloween ends. Cinematography and performances I can already see will be a strength on my list. As far as how the movie is executed, that all again comes down to the writing. Because again, what ends up happening sometimes, you can read something that sounds so poorly, but when you watch it with all the complete context, that poor writing that might actually be even more poor with weak performances is elevated into decent writing, decent execution, decent compelling narratives. So the performances might end up being what saves Halloween ends. I'm not saying it's going to excuse weak narratives, but if the narrative is weak, it might be able to stay afloat thanks to those strong performances. Because Andy Matichak, what she was doing in that clip with Laurie Stroll, Jamie Lee Curtis, she seems like she's going to be on another level here. Because I know already viewer Anon said that we should expect Allison to have more of a focus and more of a story focus on her or more of the story focused on her as compared to what Laurie might be getting dealt with or dealing with in Halloween Inn. So I can't wait to see what Andy Matichak is going to do with Allison. Can't wait to see how this relationship between her and Corey unfolds and what this does to her character. I want to learn how she's been since Karen's death and all this death since the 2018 movies. But let me know what y'all think about those clips again down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.